the type of fella you'd love your daughter to come home with and say she was marrying. I'm Niall Quinn, and this is my team. In goal, played with a, a, a man who should have got a load of caps for England. He was an excellent goalkeeper, also a great man in the dressing room, Tony Coton. Played at Watford for many years under Graeme Taylor, but Graeme never picked him for England. Uh, but for us at, at Man City, he was exceptional. He made save after save and never really fitted in uh, to get himself a, a load of England caps. And unlike me dropping things, he was safe as hell, has never dropped uh, anything any, I can remember, never at much fault at all, and, and a hell of a fella to, uh, to hang around with. And right back, I'm going to go with Dennis Irwin of Manchester United fame. Uh, played with Dennis for years and years with the Irish team. Um, the most dependable player I think I've ever played with. Uh, he was exceptional. In terms of playing with good centre halves, I don't think Manny came much better than Tony Adams. He did it all with Arsenal in England. Fantastic player. You know, I suppose a, a legend at, at Arsenal. But um, you know, at, at 16, 17 years of age, he, he was a man who taught like a man, who led on the pitch like a man. Uh, an exceptional career, Arsene Wenger. I uh, got the benefit of, of a great defence when he took over. Everyone talks about Wenger doing what he did, but Tony Adams, Steve Bowles, those players, Mark Keown, that he first inherited. Um, Lee Dixon, Nigel Winterbourne, they were, they were a solid unit as you'd ever see, and, and Tony was the, the pinnacle uh, back there. So uh, I'd have him there. I'll come back to the other centre half in a moment. I think in terms of uh, left backs that I played with, um, I'm going to put Steve Staunton in here. Liverpool player, won, won a lot with Liverpool as a club player. I played with him in Ireland and uh, had, a, had great times with, with Stan, as he was known. Um, lovely left foot, big strong defender, but cultured player as well. Really fit into that great Liverpool team of the, of the 90, late 80s and 90s. Terrific guy to be around as well. I've got to put Paul McGrath in. He's really the first name I should have put down um, when I'm looking at a midfielder. And I say he's, a lot of people remember him as a centre half, but I think all the great games he played with Ireland, he was kind of our covering midfielder in front of our, our, our back two at the time, so I'll put him in here. Uh, Paul was just exceptional. I can't tell you how good this player was. In terms then of, of my, I'm going to be selfish with the two wide players that I'm going to pick because the best service I got was my uh, few years up at Sunderland and Kevin Phillips was playing alongside me, which was a real help. Of course, he was scoring all the goals. But the delivery and uh, the execution and, and the, the creation of chances on both sides that uh, Nicky Summerby on one wing and Alan Johnson on another. Now, lots, lots of people might remember those guys playing and how good they were, but there was a spell, Sunderland fans who were around at the time will, will tell you this, that they were just providing ammunition for us two up there, game after game. And of course, you know, Kevin Phillips won the European Golden Boot playing with Sunderland. And I dare say he'd have got nowhere near it if it wasn't for the, the serve. Now there was other people who backed it up, but Nicky Somerby and Alan Johnson, just a dream, knowing that when they got the ball, knew exactly what they were going to do, knew exactly they were going to put it on a sixpence for you, and you could work to it and lose your man. And I'm sure Kevin would, would agree uh, with that as well. And I'm, I'm going to go back a little bit to my early days, just the sheer awe of my final midfield pair of playing with this man. Uh, he, he'd done it all, done it all with Arsenal, went off to Italy and uh, did it there in Italy with, with, with a few clubs. And for me as a young player, to break into the Irish squad was, was amazing, but to find myself in training sessions and being told what to do by Liam Brady, uh, that was just exceptional. Like, you know, one of the greatest players I think Arsenal have ever had. He's right up there with, with Bergkamps and Henri's fondly remembered uh, by everybody in North London and Ar the Arsenal part of it anyway, and uh, in Ireland especially too, he, he was a Trojan. Uh, Super Kev, I've, I've told you already, to play with him the year he won the, uh, the Golden Boot, playing with Sunderland. Some people don't even believe that's true, they think I make that up, but it's, uh, it is true. I suppose, you know, it's kind of a nostalgic look back in, in as much, you know, the, the I suppose the ability of players and, and what I went through with them is probably more relevant in this team. Up top, I suppose that the, the combination with Kevin at club level was exceptional, but when I played with Ireland, there was a, a number of players that I played with, but John Aldridge, I mean, he was just, he was a, a hell to be around. He was great fun all the time. He was busy, but it was just, it was a thrill to come in and play with him. He, he had, uh, 
He's, he kind of started slowly for Ireland in terms of getting goals, but once they started to come, they, they really came. And, and all those, uh, he was a great character too, and he was great on the pitch. He was great for me as a young player coming through, and uh, played a lot of games with him and had a lot of fun with them. Uh, which leads me to go back to um, the centre half that I would put in, and, and purely because of this man having his longevity of his career, uh, the amount of games he played in different eras for Arsenal, uh, he ended up having two testimonials. I'll tell you, he was over 20 years playing with Arsenal. And I'm going to put David O'Leary in here because he was an exceptional help to me as a young player. Uh, he, he was the epitome of what a footballer should be. And I remember Steve Burtonshaw, our, our uh, head of youth operations at Arsenal when I joined, and um, passed away sadly last year. But Steve Burtonshaw, I remember telling my mum and dad, you hope your son ends up like Dave O'Leary. He's the type of fella you'd love your daughter to come home with and say she was marrying. And that kind of always stuck in my head about Dave. But he was a hell of a footballer too. He was a great athlete. Uh, he was fast. Uh, he was strong as an ox. Players couldn't you know, bully him. And he had a, a, a great set of feet on him. He could pass the ball either foot. He was, he was a great player for Tony Adams to play alongside him. And, and they, were, um, they were great days as well for me to, to break into the whole Arsenal setup. And then to play with Ireland with Dave was, um, was the icing on the cake of, of all that. So, uh, great times, um, that's my team. A lot of Irish players in there, a lot of Sunderland players in there. There are a few, Tony Coton and, and Tony Adams, who I remember fondly. And apologies to uh, all of those great players I played with who probably deserve to be uh, playing, who I may have forgotten about, but um, I did head a lot of balls, so uh, don't go too hard.